Good morning. It is January the 31st, 2017. Time to kick off another trading day. We'll start with our usual disclaimer. Hypothetical simulated performance results have certain limitations. Unlike an actual performance record, simulated results do not represent actual trading. Also, since the trades have not been executed, the results may have over or undercompensated for the impact, if any, of certain market factors, such as lack of liquidity. Simulated trading programs in general are also subject to the fact that they are designed with the benefit of hindsight. No representation is being made that any account will or is likely to achieve profit or losses similar to those shown. Okay, today with the end of the month in Treasuries, we would expect a trading range. And um, I had hoped this morning to sell, I think you all uh, got the uh, email, to sell 11s to 15s. Uh, we stopped at 10, so other people had the same idea. And if you'd leaned against the uh, high volume number here in the overnight session, you would not have filled either. Uh, so the uh, structure was 11 to 15, sell 1, 19 to 23, sell 2. I'd like to buy against the buck, but I put 1s to 5s, which was pretty early this morning and then 25s to 29s for buy two. Uh, the overall night news, Asia's pretty quiet. China was up, Hong Kong and Japan were down. Japan was down a good bet. Um, it is golden week and the Asians are serious about their New Year celebrations, much more so than we are. Uh, it goes on for a week and uh, they're having themselves a good old time. Uh, the news out of Europe was, was mixed not for every country, but generally speaking, growth is accelerating in the EU. The numbers tend to come in higher than forecast. Not always, but uh, and not with every country, but generally speaking, when it's all said and done, they are showing a little bit better economic growth than forecast. Uh, we have some news in the United States today. Employment cost index up six tenths. Schiller case up seven tenths. Chicago PMI 55.3 and consumer confidence at uh, 112.3. Uh, the news focus will be right here, in my opinion. Uh, the mainstream media and uh, the Democrats, the left, are absolutely out of their minds. And I mean the noise just gets louder and louder and louder. Trump is being attacked from all sides, including the Republican Party, the usual suspects. So for the, the left is saying unconstitutional. These are people that are not in the United States that want to come to the United States and they're supposed to have full constitutional rights. Give me a break. But anyway, we're, Trump's going to wake up to this every day. And the danger to Trump's not the Democrats or the left. The danger to the cr Trump's are uh, Susan Collins, John McCain, Paul Ryan, Lindsey Graham, uh, Alexander in Tennessee. Uh, they're, they're there, and that's, that, that's who he has to really fight. So um, wait, you think they're loud right now? Wait till he announces his Supreme uh, 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 Court nominee, uh, who will be vilified and drugged through the mud. You know, what's interesting about a four-month stay from Trump is is that um, it's the same list that Obama put out in 2011. Obama stopped travel from Iran for six months. Nobody says a word. So it just again, anything that Trump does or proposes is going to be attacked um, and personally, and um, anybody that supports it will be attacked. Uh, he fired the attorney general last night because she would not follow his orders. Uh, she's assured herself a um, lifetime employment on the left at very, very fancy salaries. So the battle goes on, but I, I mean, what? There's a lot at stake and a lot at risk right here for both sides, and uh, the Democrats are not going to—they're they're, going to fight it as much as they can. Okay, looking at um, the 30-year. Is it 12 to 16 where resistance is, or is it 8 to 12? Um, 
right now uh, it might be 8 to 12 so we'll make 8 to 12 number 1 and we'll make 15 to 19 cell 1 27 to 31 cell 2 on the support side 28 to the buck if the e-mini rallies back uh, we should expect treasuries to sell uh, if the e-mini sells we should expect treasuries to rally buy one 21 to 25 and um, 9 to 13 by 2. Okay, looking at gold. Got up over 1,200 right now. You open above one of these high volume numbers with go with markets, the safest place to have a resting limit buy or sell or against the high volume numbers. This was the high volume number most recent in the market's memory at 1196, and it held in Globex, and we've been straight up since then. Uh, last rotate down stopped at 99, so we're going to have pretty good support at 12. I have a low volume number at 9. We have stops above that level at 9, so let's make 9 to 10. 9 to 11, sell 1. Got a high volume number at 13. That's the attractor. We'll make 14 to 16, sell 2. What's changed in gold from yesterday? Not much that I can tell, fundamentally. Pretty clean break right here at 4. So 3 to 5 by 1. And then 99 to 01 by 2. Okay, Trump um, trade advisor, foreign trade advisor last night said the uh, euro was grossly undervalued, and that is the policy of the European Central Bank is to get the euro down so they can export outside of uh, the EU. Um, Europe, continental Europe, mercantilist um, economic policies. Uh, they're the ones that um, their co colonies were, like Britain's colonies when they first started out, was to absorb excess production capacity in their own country. So they've done it for a very, very long time. And uh, right here we are, so 75 to 85, cell 1. 108, 108, 10, cell 2. On the buy side, the breakout came at 44, 45, so 107.50 by 1, 107 and a quarter by 2. Didn't see any news for crude. It's Tuesday, so we'll have the APIs tonight at uh, 4.30 Eastern. Um, again, this 52, 52.50 is support, and 53.50 um, is resistance. So we're in a very, very tight trading range as uh, uh, the market comes off uh, after uh, 54 is tested, and it comes up when 52 is tested in a $2 trading range. Not much to, to say about that. So yesterday's last rotate up was 53.12. Uh, so we'll try let them get stops above yesterday's day session high. So 53 and a quarter, 53.50, sell one. 53.75, 54, sell two. On the uh, buy side, um, 52 and a quarter, 52.50, buy one. 
I think we were there yesterday when we left, and then 5175, 52 by 2. Okay, when we go back, we'll look at the um, E-mini. We'll look at the monthly, and we'll see where it closed for December. And I think it was 22.35. Uh, we're well above that. And... Um, yeah, the close down there was like, like 22.34, 22.35. And we're going to be well above it, so the institutional money managers look halfway smart. And they don't really have to do much uh, to maintain their position. Their paychecks will be good to better. Um, if we go back and we do these splits, we put it all together on the F2. We're dealing with a B, and we definitely have a seller against 75, so... Um, And you can see value is not lower than it was yesterday. That's the only caution that we have. Here. So I, I think the first trade is to get short. So top of value 74. So 74, 76, sell one. 79, 81, sell two. Buy side, I think we're going a little bit lower. Uh, I think we'll get stops below that. We've got the attractor at 64. So 64, 66, buy one. 60, 62 by 2. If you believe the press, all this turmoil in the United States, all this, all these uh, terrible things being done by Trump is going to take us lower. He hadn't done anything yet. I'm talking about it, and a four-month stay from terrorist countries uh, should make everybody uh, feel pretty good, but It's amazing, you know, the first duty of the president is to protect the country. And um, a lot of people, if you believe the mainstream press, don't want that to happen. Okay, uh, it's not going to take too long to get everything up and posted. I've got, um, got a few things that I have to do. I'll be back with you as soon as possible.